We all experience events in our life that we recognize that could be life-changing. Some of them we have control over, some we don't have any control over. Probably the first one most important event in my life was when I received the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. I was age 14. I knew I loved him. I believed the gospel message, uh, but I came from an unchurched home, and I didn't have a lot of encouragement along this line. But I had attended a church camp, and through the lessons we had learned at that camp, I knew I was a sinner. I knew I wanted Jesus Christ to be my Savior, but I didn't understand anything about God's Word other than that Jesus loved me. Through the years, through Bible studies and studying His Word and attending church and uh, uh, through people who were wonderful mentors to me in my life, I've come to realize the all-important thing in my life is my relationship with Jesus Christ. It's above each and everything. Uh, it determines how I, my marriage worked out, determined how I raised my children. It uh, determined how I worked out in the workforce and how I treated people. I learned many things through the love of the Lord and how He guided and directed me in my life. But he also taught me how much He was always with me, always with me through the Holy Spirit. The second big event I would say would be my marriage, having children becoming a wife and a mother, learning how to work as a team. I had been an only child, um, lived very independently uh, of other, other people. And so as a, as a wife and a mother, I definitely uh, found that I needed the Lord to guide and direct me in how to live, a God, be a godly wife, and how to be a godly mother. And, uh, through all those times, in many crises, children's illness, accidents, all the things that happen in, in a person's life, the Lord was always there. He was always with us. The last uh, big event in my life came about three years ago when my husband of 54 years passed away from cancer. He had been in the hospital for 38 days. Um, it was uh, a very, very extensive surgery that he had just gone through. And although the surgery was successful, his body could not withstand and heal from the, from the surgery. He was in the hospital for 38 days, and his body was just no longer strong enough to withstand, and the Lord took him home. Uh, I'm grateful that he knew the Lord. Uh, I know that I will see him again one day. Um, and it's that hope that continues in my life. Of course, at that time, I also wondered, how was I going to make it on my own? <laughs> the Lord reminded me very quickly that I wasn't on my own. How could I have even said that? In all the times that He had been with me, all through my life, He was there again. And He brought me through with uh, two verses that are very important to me. And one is, I will never desert you, nor will I ever forsake you. And the other one is from Isaiah uh, 58, 9. And he said, you will call out to the Lord, and I will answer. You will cry, and I will say, here I am. And those are the wonderful uh, verses and promises that brought me comfort. I also had a wonderful church family that uh, were there to help me. I have my two sons who still are there for me, and uh, grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Uh, but most of all, it's in those quiet times, in the evenings when you're alone, that I find that I devote more time to the Word, that I have more time in communication with the Lord. Uh, he strengthens me. He sees me through all of the events of my life. Uh, he has never, ever left me. He has always been with me. At this time of year, we sing the song about, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. And it's a song about Israel calling for their Messiah. 
And yet the sad part about that was when their Messiah came, they didn't recognize him and they missed it. We, on the other hand, as believers, we have the word that shows us that uh, Jesus came uh, and at his birth, he walked among men. Uh, we also know that uh, he sent the Holy Spirit and all of those of us who believe are filled with the Spirit and he is always with us. He said he would send us a comforter and he would send us a helper and he dwells within each and every believer. So we can joyfully sing that song.